All right, so now I am going to import my textures. So I'm going to go back to my content folder. I have my meshes. So now I'm going to create a new folder called textures. Inside that texture folder, I'm going to go ahead and import my textures from the source images folder. So I have my wood texture here, I have my displacement or height map, I have my normal right here, and I have my roughness. Alright. So inside my material here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my color map go ahead and drag and drop it inside here select the RGB put it into the base color okay so now if I go ahead and hit apply and or save and I look at my wood chair I have my material applied to it Alright, one thing uh, we might need to look at is how the UVs are facing because typically for the legs we want to have the wood grain going up and down that's typically the direction that the wood grain goes in um, on wooden objects and not left and right so we might want to look into changing that. Alright, let's go ahead and start adding the rest of our textures to our material. If you click this right here, it'll, hide, it'll show the content folder with the course with the folders that are inside of it, or we can hide it. So I'm just going to leave this open so I can quickly access that. So I'm going to go back to my textures folder by double clicking. And now, what I want to do is add my roughness. For roughness, just do the red channel. For my metallic, I'm going to hold the one key and click. Place that right there. So because there's no metallic on there, uh, we're going to leave it at zero. But if there it was a metallic object, I would set this to one. And as you can see, it changes it to give some uh, more reflectivity but now I'm going to leave it at zero I'm sorry not reflectivity but shininess alright I'm going to bring my normal map in here my RGB place it inside of normal and now you can see some more of these details in here. Alright, so go ahead and hit apply and save. Now for this one we're not going to use the height map so we don't need to use the displacement. Okay, now if we want to say this is a little bit too shiny for our liking what we can do is go ahead and add a multiply so hold M and click you can add a multiply take our red place it right here add another one constant add that there
and attach that to our roughness. And let's say we do like a negative one. What does that look like? Super shiny. Okay. There we go. So we can control the shininess of this object by adjusting the roughness value using multiply. So if I want to like make it like a little bit shiny, I can do that, hit apply. And it updates my wood. Okay. Now, uh, usually, and we'll get into this a bit later, what we'll do is create a master material, which is kind of what we're doing now, and then we'll create a material instance in order to apply that to other objects. We want to have the same properties, but be able to control it. I'm going to show you that right now. So let's hit apply and save. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go over to our meshes. But first, let's go ahead and save all. Save selected. It's going to save everything in our file for us really quickly. Save level as. Uh, just do your name. G underscore. Uh, dining room all right so first initial last name underscore dining room go ahead and hit save and that saves that so now we're going to go ahead and right click on our material and go create material instance okay and what I usually do is I go, go MI for material instance and just delete the rest of that hit enter and now what I want to do is you can either drag and drop it onto your object or you can go into your double click on your object come here select MI hit this right here and it'll apply that material onto that object save so now if I double click this material instance You'll notice that we have the parent object, right? Uh, parent material, I'm sorry, right here. So, in order to get more options, what we need to do is go to the master material. And what we can do is convert this to a parameter. Uh, and let's call this roughness. set the default to one okay go ahead and hit save we can also do like a min and max if we want to we can also add this to a group let's go ahead and name this textures uh, or do, mm, let's go texture control these we're going to go ahead and convert these to parameters so let's name this color map It can also be named albedo, but we'll just stick with color map for now. Convert to parameter. Roughness. Map. Convert 
to parameter. Normal map. Just like that. And now we want to group these. So let's group these as textures. Go here, go to the drop down, go to textures, here, go to the drop down, the textures. Okay, so now we hit apply. Go ahead and hit save. Close that out. And now, if I go into my material instance, you'll see that I have my roughness power under texture controls, and then we have different textures. So if I wanted to, I can come in here and I can change the textures on this material. So right now, what I want to do is edit the roughness power. So I just click to turn it on. And I can edit this real time. Just like that. So I can hit G to hide all the unnecessary icons. Let's just rotate this guy. Just for lighting purposes. Or, control Z, what we can do is just add a light into the scene here go to lights and let's add a point light we click and drag something like that let's hit G again so we can actually see our light hit W for move and move it into position like so Just like that. All right. If we want to, uh, we'll get into that another time. So let's, let's go ahead and say save all. And now we have our chair inside of Unreal with a material. So part of what you guys can do is if you have completed working on your UVs, you can go ahead and start importing your assets into Unreal and start creating materials to apply to those objects and adding your textures to that material okay